Let us now understand how the trigonometric equation can be modified so that they have no solution. Enjoy the journey of learning. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss a trigonometric function which indeed is a periodic function where the same question could be asked in different levels of mathematics including the STEM program. The problem here is consider the graph of function f of x equals to 2 sin x. So that's the graph of the function given to us. x is between 0 to 2 pi means we are considering only this part of the graph. The function f intersects the line y equals to minus 1 at exactly two points a and b. So the two points are these as shown in the figure. Find the coordinates of the points a and b. That's the first part. Now relatively simple. Now part b of this question is consider the graph of the function g of x equals to 2 sin px, x between 0 to 2 pi, where p is greater than 0. Find the greatest value of p such that the graph of g does not intersect the line y equals to 1. So that's the thinking question which you need to answer. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, in case you want to discuss with me, feel free to send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Now, let's look into the solution of this question. Now, let's try to solve the first part, which is we want the coordinates of point A and B, right? Where the function f of x, which is 2 sin x, intersects the line y equals to minus 1. That means 2 sin x is minus 1. Now we can write this as sin x being minus 1 by 2. Sin x is half in two quadrants, right? Which are quadrant 3 and 4. And we are looking for the value of half. That means if I consider this special triangle, then for sin, value of half means that we are working with pi by 6, correct? So related acute angle here is pi by 6. And that gives you the solution of x as equal to 7 pi by 6, right? And 11 pi by 6. So that is how we can get x values of a and B. So coordinate point should be Y values are known to us which are minus 1, correct? So coordinates A and B are 7 pi by 6 minus 1 and 11 pi by 6 minus 1. So I hope that part is absolutely clear, right? Simple. Now let us discuss the second part of this question which is consider the graph of G of X which is 2 sine px. x between 0 to 2 pi and p is greater than 0. Find the greatest value of p such that the graph of g does not intersect y equals to minus 1. So what we found was this point here in earlier graph was at 7 pi by 6, correct? And that was the solution for 2 sin x. Now we are looking into g of x equals to 2 sin px, right? And we do not want any solution for this to be minus 1 when x is between 0 to 2 pi. So, well, 
in the question 2 pi was not included. Correct. Now we know one thing that the solution of this equation indeed is sine px equals to minus half which means px will be equal to 7 pi by 6. Clear? Now if I do not want this value 7 pi by 6 then what can be the value of p? This is what we have to decide. Correct? So we want the x value not within this domain means when x is greater than or equal to 2 pi. You get the idea. So if I put x equals to 2 pi, I'll get the value of p as equal to the answer, right? So we can now write p times x equals to 2 pi equals to 7 pi by 6. So that means p is 7 pi by 6 times 1 over 2 pi, correct? So pi and pi cancel, we get 7 over 12. So the value of p is 7 by 12, you get the idea. So find the greatest value of p, the greatest value of p will be 7 by 12. For no solution, within 0 to 2 pi of x. Perfect. So the, the curve actually stretches horizontally to the extent that it comes to minus 1 only after 2 pi when p is 7 by 12. Make sense? So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.